good morning. Um, Russell van der Merwe here. I'm the owner of Cyril's Pigeon and Pet, also the owner of the SA Masters One Loft Race. Uh, what we have going on here this morning is uh, Dr. Conradi, who's our vet at the Masters Loft, uh, here every Sunday morning, um, testing birds for guys who are not sure why the birds are late or not perform performing up to standard. And um, later on, when, when you see inside, you'll see that the top, top fanciers in our union and fed out here in, in the TRPF and GPU are here for testing. Um, we're sitting here with Dr. Conradi, who's been doing the test for us today. He's also the vet at our One Loft race, the SA Masters. Um, very experienced, been doing this for more than 30 odd years. Um, Doc, if you can just give us a little bit of insight to the importance of having the 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 birds tested for the very and the various stuff that you test for. Okay, good morning, Russell. Um, <clears throat> yeah, the <clears throat> the test that we do here, you know, every every Sunday, um, we firstly we take a, a sort of a crop smear for um, and we test for canker and candida. Um, Canker is one of the product, yeah, one of the diseases that have, you know, sort of developed a resistance to many of the medications that we use. So we need to we need to find which which medication um, is, is works best. If, for instance, um, a person buys a canker remedy, it doesn't mean to say um, that it's going to work. So the the purpose of the the testing is is to ensure that that medication did work. And if it didn't work, you know, to find a medication that, 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 that works for his particular loft. And um, the ideal is a follow-up test a week later. Kink is one of those um, diseases that, that um, can flare from one week to the next. So it's not a bad idea if you have the facilities to have that test done, even if it is the only test that you, you ask to have done. The um, candida is something you know, we also pick up on the crop you know, smears. Um, it can stay clear in the loft for, for, for a long, long time, and then one, you know, one week without warning, it'll, you know, it, it can flare. You know, and um, in, in, you know, when it does that, it, um, it, it would definitely um, sort of affect race performance. Sometimes it's, it's a primary problem, sometimes a secondary problem. If it's a secondary problem, you have to work out which is the, you know, what, what has actually brought it about. In most cases, the candida has come about as a result of um, an underlying virus infection or um, as a result of um, you know, antibiotic medication and even canker medication. It can also come about as a result of stress. The, um, so those two, you know, um, of the tests that we do, and we'll come to the others later, um, of the tests that we do, those are the two that are most important and the ones that should be tested for on a regular basis. The other test that we do is a, um, is a blood smear, um, and this, this detects malaria. Um, malaria is carried by pigeon flies. Um, the pigeon flies obviously need to be kept, the loft needs to be kept clear of pigeon flies, but and unfortunately, um, they, they do pick up pigeon flies and possibly malaria, malaria in the race baskets. Uh, malaria would, would affect performance and, and um, it should be um, sort of tested for and, and treated you know, sort of regularly. The, um, the recognised treatment is 10 days before the start of the season and then one day a week you know, sort of right throughout the season just to keep on sort of suppressing the malaria because of the life cycle and because of the, the danger of, of new infections being picked up. Um, the fanciers that come here also bring me a stool sample from the loft. There we, we, we test for um, coccidiosis and, and, and worms. Um, coccidiosis, of the coccidiosis and worms, coccidiosis is the one that we pick up the most and um, it, it needs to be treated. Um, what, what coccidiosis does is, is uh, apart from affecting performance, um, it does da damage the, the lining of the intestine and making um, bacteria like E. coli or salmonella, uh, making them sort of more, become more of a problem because they, they penetrate the, the wall of the intestine and, and become a, you know, systemic infections. So all in all, you know, with, with those tests, you, you know, you're covering quite a, quite a broad base 
Um, and, and by doing that on a regular basis, you have a better chance of, of, um, of you know, sort of keeping the birds healthy. We find that um, the, the, the people that do have regular testing done um, do, do tend to race better. Um, but I think they, they race better as well because they, you know, they, um, they have the test done but they're also sort of very particular about what they do in the loft. So that, that goes hand in hand with, with what they do in the loft as well as double checking that their treatment has in fact worked. I've noticed yeah, that the top fanciers come for testing and they obviously fly in better. And then what are the dangers then of the blind treatments that some of the guys are giving? Uh, now what happens is, um, you know, say you take canker first, um, Many of the medications are, you know, sort of a resistant, you know, the, the canker organism is resistant to the medication um, available. And um, they, they, they rely on, the, on the, the medication being effective against canker, and it's not always effective against canker. Um, so the, the, the advantage would be to, to, to check that, 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 um, that the, the medication that they've used is, has in fact worked. You know, type of thing. Okay, then, then just a final two questions, Doc. The first one, just on the, the importance of the vaccinations, uh, the paramixa and the pox vaccine, because yeah. guys are asking about that. And then just a little bit of, of your findings, because you've been doing this throughout the country recently, uh, in other provinces, uh, are there many differences between uh, the diseases that you've picked up in different provinces? provinces yeah. The um, um, paramixa first. Um, what we recommend is that you you um, um, the, the recognised sort of program is the first first vaccination at three weeks, uh, a booster at, at um, four weeks later at seven weeks, and then the, um, the the third vaccination roughly about a month or so before the first race. So in other words, a yearling um, has three vaccinations before it takes. That takes place in the first race. The adult birds, um, a lot of chaps make the mistake is they don't vaccinate their adult birds, and the um, um, the, the, the um, th those birds must must be vaccinated on an annual basis. The um, we do find um, a lot of chaps give boosters halfway through the race season, and, and um, it seems to work. You know, it seems to work very very well, doing it that way. Um, the, the vaccines used, um, you know, um, Sandpo has got a re, you know rule that that you use a, a, a sort of a registered paramixa vaccine and and also a sort of a registered poultry vaccine. So alternating between a pol uh, paramixa vaccination and, and a, a poultry vaccination is is, um, um, is probably the ideal. Okay. The um, going to pox, um, you know, the pox should be given on an annual basis, you know, especially to to your your, your youngsters. You don't always have to repeat the pox in, in two and three year olds, um, but the pox should be done. Um, I reckon the pox should be done after the, the paramixa vaccinations because if you're going to get any sort of reaction temperature wise, it's going to be after the pox vaccination. So you, you, want, you want that done last so it doesn't affect the, the, the vaccination against paramixa. The pox can be done any time from five weeks onwards, um, but very definitely um, within a month or, or, of, of the race season. Um, as regards the testing, you know, sort of down in the Cape um, or in any coastal um, sort of city um, or, or, or area, we find um, we find more coccidiosis down there than we do, you know, than we do find up here. Um, the um, I would say, you know, that that's probably, and sorry, in worms as well. Um, so it's coxie and worms, you know, found in the, um, you know, found in the birds, you know, from the coastal areas. Okay. We have a, you know, Medpet has a service there, there that where, you know, fanciers from all over the country can can send their, their you know, so, fecal samples from their birds to um, to to the to, to us. Um, it's a free service, and we sort of we can test for coxie and worms. We're trying to, and it's working well, is, is a lot of clubs from uh, around the country are sending us samples from the whole club um, and each sample is marked so we can, you know, we can work out exactly, you know, sort of um, 
what's going on in, in that club. And by doing that, we, we, um, you know, the club can actually keep their, their, their baskets um, clean. Because a lot of clubs, you know, they get the basket back from the race point, they change the straw, but the, the worm eggs and coccidia eggs can actually sort of lay dormant in the, in the, the dust underneath the straw. Okay, Doc, so thanks. And then just um, you would advise guys to, to have their birds tested regularly and then so in so doing find out exactly what's wrong, yeah. no blind treatment and yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just better, better way of keeping the birds healthy. Yeah, very definitely. The, um, you know, if they're just going to have one test done, you know, then a, um, sort of a, a crop smear for, you know, for, for canker would be um, you know would, would be the one I would you know I would recommend. Um, not everyone can can afford to have these tests done, but by by having these tests done they in many cases they, they actually save themselves money by you know not having to buy medication unnecessarily. Okay, thank you very much for your time Doc. Pleasure. Let's hear from a few guys that have had the test done. Um, the reasons why they're having them done and then the the results from what Dr. Conradi has found uh, to be the problem in the birds, if there, if there was a problem. Hi, I'm Stuart Rees, uh, flying out of the Edenvale Club, based in Germiston. Uh, I've come through here today to get my birds tested due to the fact that on the tossy and that, they're off pace. Haven't seen good results on the training, so to take a bit of the guessing game out of it, brought the birds through to get checked out. Doc went through the birds. Main uh, culprit at the moment looks like uh, candida and cancer. So the canker treatment he's recommended as well. So reason for doing this is, like I mentioned, take the guesswork out. Also, don't want to give a cocktail of medication. So by doing this, saving money in the long run and also pinpointing the main problem that I can treat the birds with. For the rest of the fanciers out there, personally I think we over medicate our, medication, our birds with medication and as all the top fanciers that you listen to in the game say, the right medication at the right time for the right reasons. So this now narrows down what reason you need to medicate for and you're able to give it at the right time so you can see the better improvement. And I'll be doing this throughout the season so hopefully I'll be able to give better feedback down the line on my achievements. Uh, I'm Tyron Bonnard from TNT Lofts. Uh, decided to have my birds tested. Uh, we raced yesterday and rolls, res, my results went up to, to standard, I feel. I feel. Um, thought there might be a little bit of canker in the birds, so decided to come through to Cyril's Pigeon and Pet to have the birds tested. Uh, Dr. Conradis have been doing the test at the moment, waiting for a bit of the results. Um, I think testing the birds before the season or even during the season helps you pinpoint what's, uh, what's exactly wrong with your pigeons and exactly what to treat with instead of guessing and just giving medicine unnecessarily. Um, I'd advise other fans just to do the same, you know, you get your birds tested, see what's wrong with them and treat them accordingly to what the dog finds. Uh, in the future, get your birds here, get them tested and, and make sure your birds have got a fair chance in the racing. Um, and the only way is to, to do it scientifically, don't treat blindly, get the vet's help and you'll be on the right track. Thanks.